On the last sheet before an inside corner, you will need to take three measurements as you did on the first sheet, at the ceiling line, middle, and bottom. But these will be from the edge of the sheet into the corner. The corner probably will not be square. Take the furthest measurement and add an eighth of an inch to it. This will allow overlap into the corner and onto the adjoining wall. Go to your work table and find the edge that will butt into the last sheet hung. Put that edge towards you and flip the sheet face down on the table. Measure from that edge into the sheet the same distance you just measured on the wall, including the eighth inch added. Place your level onto the sheet at the distance. You may have to re-measure from the level to the edge several times and in several places to make sure you are even. Hold the level with your off hand. With a single edge razor or snap knife, press the blade against the level and cut the paper, running the blade along the edge of the level. If using a razor blade, hold it between your thumb and forefinger. Move your hand, holding the next spot down before you slide the blade along. Cut slowly and carefully. Don't use excessive pressure and always use a new blade. Paste the piece of wallpaper and allow it to book. While it is booking, measure from the inside corner onto the adjoining wall the width of the piece of wallpaper from the sheet you just trimmed. Using your level, make a pencil line from ceiling to baseboard. That's your next plumb line. Hang your first piece of wallpaper into the corner. After pasting and booking, place the other half of the sheet on your plumb line and slide it back into the corner, just like you did the first sheet. You may lose some pattern because the corner is out of square. Continue on in this manner around the room. When your sheet falls up against a door or window, lightly tuck the sheet into the crease of the frame with your plastic smoother. At the top of the door, or top and bottom of a window, find the point where the side and top or bottom of the frame meet. At this point, take your razor blade or snap knife and make a cut from the point towards the door or window opening. Pull the paper away from the woodwork so you don't cut it. This is called a relief cut. You are relieving the tension in the paper and will now be able to tuck the paper onto the top of the door frame and top and bottom of the window. Trim off excess using the taping knife as before. Always put the taping knife against the paper when you trim to protect the paper. Find the pattern at the top or bottom of the door or window and make a level line across. This will help your pattern stay horizontally straight when you hang the sheet on the other side of the frame. Always wash with a damp clean sponge and dry with a lint free cloth. To clean borders, murals, Wallpaper and cutouts, use warm water and a mild dish detergent. Never use harsh chemicals or abrasive cleaners. Always test a small area first. Dry with a lint-free cloth. 